So, so first of all, I would like to thank Governor State University and uh, in particular Mary Ma for um, inviting me to serve on this panel and to have an opportunity to talk about the state of Illinois and the resources that we offer to Illinois companies. Um, I would also like to apologize in advance. Uh, I too was in DC a few days ago and unfortunately I came back with a terrible cold so I will try not to have a coughing fit up here. Um, so I do apologize in advance for my voice. Um, before we talk about the ISTEP program, which um, Mary mentioned briefly, I would like to talk a little bit about our office. For those of you that are not familiar, the Office of Trade and Investment. Um, okay. The Office of Trade and Investment is a bureau within the Illinois Department of Commerce, and we handle all international activities for the state of Illinois. Our mission is threefold. We help Illinois businesses export products um, around the world, attract foreign direct investment to the state of Illinois, and represent the state of Illinois at all international activities within the international community. In order to achieve this goal, we work very closely with our partners, many of which you heard from a little earlier today. Um, we work very closely with the federal government, with foreign counselors and trade offices, uh, as well as chambers, industry-specific organizations, and others. Um, so basically, if you reach one of us, you've reached all of us because we do work very, very closely and we share the same mandate and that is basically to help small companies um, reach their exporting goals. Our office is headquartered in Chicago, but we do also have, offices in uh, have an office in Springfield as well as at 10 foreign locations around the world. These offices were strategically placed in order to help our Illinois companies, many of which have been um, around for over 20 years. Uh, we have offices in, our, actually our European operation is headquartered in Belgium. We have an office in Brazil. Since we are talking about Latin America, we have two offices covering Latin America, one in Brazil and one in, in Mexico. Um, we have a, an office in Canada, two in China, one in Hong Kong and Shanghai. Uh, an office in New Delhi, India, as well as Israel, Japan, and South Africa. Um, a, a bit different, unlike the U.S. Department of Commerce, our trade specialists are focused on a region of the world as opposed to industry specific. Uh, so when you work with the uh, Office of Trade and Investment, you will reach a trade specialist that's focused on a specific um, region of the world rather than the industry that you're interested in. <clears throat> Before I tell you about our export program, I would like to share a few stats about Illinois exports. Since 2009, Illinois exports have grown by 58%, overperforming the national average 50%. Um, Illinois is considered the largest exporting state in the Midwest, we're very proud of that, and the fifth largest exporting state in the nation. Um, our exports totaled over 65.8 billion in 2013. Um, okay, so our, our top 15 exporting countries um, include Canada, Mexico, China, Germany, Australia, Brazil, Japan, UK, Belgium, France, Singapore, Netherlands. Oh, and there's the list right there. Perfect. Thanks, Mary. Um, as you'll see, 40% of our total exports go to our neighbors in Canada and Mexico. Our top industries include machinery, computer products, food and agricultural products. However, as Monica mentioned, um, you may not necessarily fall within these industries, but we will support efforts of, of any industry. And uh, as we'll go over shortly, we coordinate missions to many different industry-focused trade shows around the world. So what this means for you. There are three reasons why everyone in this room should be exporting. The first is market access. More than 70% of the world's purchasing power is outside of the US. The second is profitability. Exporting firms grow faster and are more profitable than the non-exporting firms. And the third is opportunity. American products are in high demand around the world. <coughs> Excuse me. In 2014, Illinois exports to Latin America totaled nearly $14 billion. Um, our top five Illinois exports to Latin America are similar to those on the list of the top Illinois exports, which include machinery, computer products, transportation equipment, chemicals, and electrical equipment. 
And our top five Latin American trading partners include Mexico, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, and Peru. So as you can see, there are a lot of opportunities for Illinois companies in Latin America, and we have the infrastructure in place to make sure that you succeed in these industries. Top, top reasons why companies don't export are the fear of the risk involved, not knowing where to begin, and not knowing who to trust. Um, that being said, only 1% of all US small to medium sized enterprises export. So this is where we come in how we can help. Our export assistance includes market research, similar to what the US Department of Commerce can, um, can offer. Uh, we can do industry-specific information for you, provide information on buyers and distributors within the regions where we have foreign offices. Now, where we don't have coverage, that's where we work very closely with the US Department of Commerce, and they will provide gold key service and other um, marketing and research reports for you. We also provide financial assistance for companies interested in developing trade leads. We organize overseas trade missions to target mar markets and shows, and provide financial assistance for companies that are interested in obtaining product compliance certifications. Through our foreign offices, uh, we can provide this market research, as we talked about, as well as um, help identify strategic uh, partners for you. Most of our foreign office managers have been uh, at their posts, like I mentioned, for at least 20 years, so their institutional knowledge is second to none. And our companies often will tell us that our foreign offices are as if they have a foreign office in that country. In Latin America, we have regional offices in Mexico and Brazil. Um, however, where we don't have coverage, we will make sure that we do have coverage for you. Finally, and most importantly, um, the ISTEP program. The ISTEP program runs on three separate tracks to help qualified Illinois companies with technical and financial assistance. The first track is the Group Trade Mission Program, which is in the center of that chart. And I'd like to highlight this one because there's so many value-added services that are offered within this track. Um, aside from our office coordinating and leading these trade missions, um, our participants will not only receive booth space, but they will also receive matchmaking services while they're there, as well as assistance with travel logistics, translation services, ground transportation, um, and several government-to-government -government as well as business-to-business -business networking opportunities. And w our coverage for these services are 100% of your booth costs. So if you are interested in participating in one of our trade shows, we will give you booth space. You will be under the Illinois Pavilion. And in addition to that, you will also receive 25 to 75% of your travel reimbursed. Um, and the, the service doesn't end there. So. When you come back, we will help you follow up on the leads that you've developed to make sure that those leads actually result into sales. Our second track is our individual foreign market sales mission program. And so although we try to identify shows in all of the markets that, and industries, of course, that um, our Illinois companies are interested in, we know that we cannot be all over the world and can't represent every industry. So this program allows companies the opportunity to self-identify a show or a market that they would like to participate in. Um, through our network, we'll make sure that your, tra your, your mission is successful, and we will cover between 25 and 75 percent of your program cost, uh, up to $7,500, and this includes program as well as travel. We typically will cover about 50 individual foreign market sales mission programs per year, um, and our fiscal year ends at the end of June. So if you are interested in participating in this program, I would encourage you to reach out to Mary. We do still have slots available for May and June travel. Finally, we offer assistance for companies interested in achieving product compliance certification, and we will reimburse companies up to 50% uh, or I should say 50% of the total cost of their certification up to $5,000 reimbursement. So for example, if you are interested in um, trading in a Latin American country and you're interested in, in product compliance certification, 
let Mary know, let other trade um, specialists, other partners know, and we will help identify what you need, uh, identify vendors that can help you achieve that certification and help offset the cost for that certification. <coughs> The following couple of slides are a list of trade shows that we have coordinated this fiscal year, many of which have already taken place. Um, I would like to highlight a couple of them because they did occur in Latin America, and actually our Latin America trade specialist, who has since moved on, is in the audience. I just want to um, say hello to Kelsey Schrank, and if anyone has any questions about these particular shows, she's the person to talk to. Um, these shows are International Fair Bogota, which was an industrial machinery show and took place in Colombia in September, and the FEMA International Industrial Environment and Sustainability Fair that took place in Sao Paulo, Brazil this past November. Um, More importantly, I'd like to highlight an upcoming show taking place in June. And the reason I'd like to highlight the show is because we do have a couple more slots available. So if anyone is in um, the packaging or processing industries and would like to apply for, this, for participation in the show, please let us know as soon as possible. Um, in 2013, the total Mexican market value for packaging machinery was approximately $720 million, of which $628 million was imported. The U.S. is now the third largest supplier of packaging equipment to Mexico. So I think that's important to note and why this show was selected as one of our top shows to participate in. Um, we have several Illinois companies, very successful companies, that I think will do very well at this show, so please keep that in mind. As far as next year, we are still developing our um, trade show schedule. And um, I would say if you are interested in participating in a group trade mission, please check back with us over the next few months. Typically, it is released around the 1st of July. We run on a fiscal year of July 1 through the end of June. Um, so that uh, we, we should have that information relatively soon, and uh, we look forward to welcoming you and part of that program. Um, as far as eligibility requirements to participate in the program, it's pretty simple. We follow the SBA guidelines. Um, you must be a, a small to medium-sized company with less than 500 employees and have products or services containing at least 50% U.S. and 25% um, Illinois content. The application can be found online. You can also obtain it by working with one of your trade centers or one with one of our partners uh, or contacting our office. As Mary mentioned, over the last couple of years, we have supported over 400 trade visits to 34 countries on six continents um, and assisted over 300 Illinois companies. The following slides are some success stories from companies such as yourselves that have participated in our program, but there are many other successes such as these. Um, so I, I encourage you to reach out to all of our partners and, and work with us. There's my contact information. I do have handouts about the ISTEP program as well as Expo Pack if you're, in, if you're specifically interested in participating in that, um, and my business card. I won't take offense if you don't want to shake my hand, but I will encourage you to take my card. <laughs> Thank you.